So for the practice today, um, what I wanted to invite us to explore is the invitation um, for putting down what's no longer serving, what's no longer needed with metta. So that's the theme. So let me say a few words about it, what I mean by that. So, so the theme is inspired by many things, one of them being, you know, often towards an end of a year, we, you know, there are these idea of resolutions, et cetera, et cetera. And, and one, one thing to consider perhaps is, um, again, maybe resolutions Again, that could be another talk or lecture, what, what's supported, what's not supported. But one thing, one reflection that could be helpful, um, even though, again, some one can say, oh, years, you know, end of a year, beginning of another, it's all conceptual. These are all concepts. It's just one moment at a time. Yes, all of that is true. It's all one moment at a time. And it's all concepts. Yes. And yet... We can take this concept of a transition of a one year to another, 2020 to 2021. How can we use that in a skillful way? How can we use this concept that everybody buys into, that, that we agree upon, this concept that we all agree upon? Um, one way that we can use it to support our practice is to consider, oh, in this past year or in the past, um, in the past general, are there patterns, are there things that have been coming up that are no longer serving, no longer helpful? So you can see a pattern, maybe it comes up as a pattern of thought that you see and you become mindful of, it, mindful of it, aware of it. And then with, with kindness, with all the kindness in your heart, bowing to it, saying, thank you. Maybe you served me at some point. Maybe you supported me. Maybe you made me feel safe. And I, it's, you're not needed right now. You've served. Thank you. So with all the care, all the friendliness, all the metta in our heart, seeing it, inviting it to be put down. So in this way, it's not that we're throwing it down, stop it, you pattern of thought, pattern your, um, there is no ill will. There's a sense of, oh, thank you. A sense of appreciation and then putting it down. So also want to share a tiny little story before we start, because I think this is the image that I, there are a couple of images, actually one of them I'll introduce later, but this story I want to evoke is a famous story of, of two monks, an older monk and a younger monk who had taken a vow of never touching a woman. In fact, um, in uh, Theravada, the, all the, um, a male monk or, or monk of one gender is takes a vow of not touching people in another gender. So anyway, um, explaining the monk rules. So, so in this story, a, 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 an older monk, a senior monk and a younger monk are walking together and they come to a bank of a river. And there they see a young woman who asks them for help. Can you help me cross? Without saying anything, the older monk picks up the young woman, carries her across, puts it on the other side. And, and then the two monks continue. And the younger monk is livid, angry, doesn't say anything for an hour. How could you, thinking in, in his mind, how could you, oh, you touched a woman, you had taken a vow of never touching a woman. Continues for another two hours, um, uh, three hours, and um, and finally, um, he turns and the young monk turns to the older monk and says, "How could you do that? You touched a woman." You know, blah 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 blah. Very upset and angry. And the older monk, and here's the punchline: 
the image I'd like you to, to carry with yourself is, oh, I put her down by the bank of the river. You're still carrying her. You're still carrying her. So what are we still carrying? Whom are we still carrying? When we could have just gently, kindly put them, put it down by the bank of the river. <laughs>